I ask you all to direct your attention to the defendant, Mrs. Attinger. Now, keep looking at her, keep watching, listen carefully and look at her, look at her hard. Now, imagine her a man. Go on, now use your imaginations. Think of her as a man sitting there accused of a like crime. A husband who was only trying to protect his home. Now hold it, hold that impression and look at Beryl Kane. Look at her, look at her hard. A man, a slick home wrecker, a third party. A wolf. You know the type, all right. Hold that impression and look at Mr. Attinger and suppose him a woman. Try, try hard. Ah, yes, there she is, the guilty wife. Look at her. Does she arouse your sympathy? All right. Now you have it. Judge it so. An unwritten law stands back of a man who fights to defend his home. Apply this same law to this maltreated wife and neglected woman. We ask you no more. Equality. Deep in the heart of South America, there thrives today a civilization far older than ours. A people known as the Locanianos, descended from the Amazons. In this vast tribe, members of the female sex rule and govern and systematically deny equal rights to the men, made weak and puny by years of subservience, too weak to revolt. And yet, how long have we lived in the shadow of a like injustice? Consider this unfortunate woman's act as though you yourselves had each committed it. Every living being is capable of attack if sufficiently provoked. Assault lies dormant within us all. It requires only circumstance to set it in violent motion. I ask you, for a verdict of not guilty. There was no murder attempt here. Only a pathetic attempt to save a home. 